morning! Everyone's had a great weekend and uh, thanks for tuning in like, back to the channel. As you can tell, my voice is um, its all great. I've got this cold or something. Man full, possibly. Um, I feel alright though. But um, we're going to get on with today. We've got everything to feed and bed up as per usual. And then we're going to just see what this weather does, I suppose. Looks like it's going to rain. Had a great time yesterday at the Vintage Tractor Show in Newark. It's a massively long video um, yesterday of that show, so um, if you want to flick through that and get to the point that you want to see, that's fine by me. Um, it's just, yeah, I wanted to get everything in, and I thought, you know, should I try and cut it down and cut all the stuff out, or should I just go for it and just put it all in? And um, yeah, I went for the go for it and put it all in uh, option. So yeah. Hopefully you, you like that bit. Right, anyway, we're uh, all getting ready. I'm just pulling out with um, the straw blower. Connor's got the mixer pulled up there. It's all go, go, go. Well, Andy needs some bales, so we'll uh, jump on the nine meter and we'll go and get him some. Right, so I'm just getting some silage bales now. Let's see if I can stack this one on top. I'll stab it in the top of the bale so then it swings down my arm. And I'm getting three together. And I'm just going to try and stack that one on top of them. Like ah. I haven't actually tried stacking bales like this before, but you know what? You can drive the machine, you can drive the machine. And then I've got three. Business. Right, so I'm just down here. We're gonna get some bales off the stack with the nine meter. The mix is going on further up the yard. Because I wasn't here yesterday, nothing set up for a Monday, you see? So um, it makes Monday morning a bit more difficult. Um, but we're on it, we're still going. It's not like um, we're, uh, we've got loads of stuff to do um, that's time sensitive today, so. Um, it's more just annoying that if I was working, this would have all been done. But um, when it is just my dad here, nothing gets done. And that annoys me. Connor's just taking the traffic, so I'll just wait for him to do that and then we can get around the corner. Silage tipped off here. Oh, not wanting to come off the tines. They're a bit pushed together. Right, let's see if we can get there. Oh, not doing very well today. Get those off. And we'll just separate them a little bit. We can get them put out then. So I just dropped one in there, we'll get that unwrapped. We'll get these fed and Andy will get them bedded up. Some really nice big softies in here, isn't there? Yeah. Lovely. Good a big cuddle. <laughs> um yeah, lovely. Oh, we got UPS here. What we got? Anything exciting? Get out of Andy's work. And he's got stuff going in so we can put more out. Cleaning your car yesterday, Andy. Mm. And you, can you not fetch it to the farm now? No. Still gleaming. I haven't finished it. I've still got the front seats today. I've only done the back seats. How long did it take you? Like four hours. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just had our um, coffee, bean coffee time. And now we're going to go and vaccinate some new cows. They're in this pen here behind us. Um, worm and vaccinate them. Give them a tag, uh, give them a fluke, um, and wait, well, yeah, put them on the computer. <clears throat> I'm not really with it today, guys. I am sorry, I can't think what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'll wake up soon. What I will say though, is a massive thank you to um, everyone that came and said hello yesterday. Um, it was really nice, um, especially to the guy, I never caught your name. 
But well, said, thank you very much for showing like the realities of farming, that it's not all like happy days every single day. So that was quite nice to, yeah, I don't know, it's quite nice to talk to people about um, yeah, what they're up to. The, um, the young lad with the Steve engine, fantastic him and his dad. Um, and yeah, everyone else that I spoke to, William. Right, anyway, we're on it. We should be getting these cows done. And he's getting the wormer and fluke all ready. It's on these guns, which I've told people who watch it before, have watched the channel before, will know that these are linked to our weigh head. So as soon as the cow comes in, it measures it out to exactly the right um, amount of medicine that we need. And this red one is a bit more manual, but you just put in the weight, basically, and then it makes everything easy because you haven't got to squeeze and makes everything efficient with using our medicines. Of course, we do not want to be... The main thing with medicines, especially these these ones for parasites, is we do not want to be underdosing cattle. So um, we don't want to be we don't want to be overdosing either. Overdosing. But the, the the main thing that they're saying is don't underdose because you get resistance. Okay. So and then when you because you give them a little bit, then they're resistant to it. So um, yeah, if you were doing a batch, you'd aim for a little bit higher rather than a little bit lower if you're having to do them all at the same amount sort of thing. But yeah, you don't want to be you don't want to be overdosing. You want to be bang on, and that's what that is, bang on. So we're not wasting any money, we're not wasting any medicine, we're not putting extra yeah, it's billion. Anyway. I'm not really with it today, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a bit like I think this cold's getting to me a bit, but anyway, we'll get over it. Only walking behind him. And then I catch their head. Right, we're just gonna get some cattle out now. So fetching these guys up now. He's having some silage as he comes past. And his mates are on the way. There we go. In there. Jobs are good. Um. Everything's laid down, which is good to see. Chilling. I've got the pusher on because we're going to push up the barley that's in the shed and hopefully get a bit more milled and then I can move some wheat around um, just to aerate it a bit. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll push this in. I mean, when I said I wasn't with it, I've managed to go in miss an appointment today. I've been one of them people. Miss my den dentist appointment. What an idiot. Anyway, we'll push this into here. We'll just come up onto the top of the barley pile, um, see if we can get any more pushed in. But I think it's pretty full. I take it from, from that that it's pretty full. Good, so that means we'll get, hopefully the rest of the barley in here, milled, and then we'll have an empty side of the shed, and I can put the um, grain pedestals in. We can move the wheat to that side, and then the movement of it will hope, hopefully help and then the pedestals will be able to cool it, yeah. So Andy's just shifting some of the seed and uh, I'll jump on this tractor, move this out of the way because the drill's, uh, drill, the mill's right in the corner. I'm thinking about seed and drilling, aren't I? Me and Andy now are just dismantling the front of this telly handler cross, one of the bosses on this side has cracked so we need to grind it down weld it back um, but we need to take this off to do that so we're just taking the pins out we're going to take these two pipes off here and all the hydraulics have come away and then we'll take the pin out then we'll stand it up on its end grind it down re-weld it job done so the mill's going andy's got the plow on we're gonna have a look at that maze land and see if we can get it plowed it is wet, but there's only one way to find out really how wet it is underneath, and that's putting that through it and seeing what happens. I've got my goggles, goggles on and my um, brilliant hair, and um, just grinding this all down now. Ben's grinding the little boss down, put a nice groove in it, and then we'll keep welding and, um, and get a real good solid um, burnt in weld. We'll get this ground down a bit more. Taking some getting down, but we're, we're nearly there. Get a bit flatter than that. I don't judge me because I don't normally do this, all right, but it's held, I'm sure. It's farmer welding. Right, all welded now. Ben's gonna line it back up so we can put the pins in. 
booked a, we had a bucket and it was all the oil was going in the bucket but then I knocked the bucket over so we just completely wasted his time doing that but um, we're putting all the pipes back on now job should be a good one I'm glad we've got that fixed I think it's been broken for a bit um, so the pins it just keeps the pin in so it's just if for some reason the pin was to shoot out then obviously it would have been in massive trouble but no way that that can happen now because it's welded round. So happy days. So now we've got that fixed, I'm gonna put the front linkage arms down, get the press on, and then we'll put the drill on, and we're all ready then to go if it's fit. Ben's out there filling up the mill, not realizing that I need to go where he's going. Oh, he's realized now. We're on it. Off to pick up the front pass. So as you can see here, ground conditions are wet. But hopefully where Andy is, we can get some um, dry ground fetched to the top, or at least the plowing can dry out over the next few days and we can get some drilled. So I've got it picked up, we'll go and put the top link on, we should be happy days. So there we have it, it's on, get it all shone up when we get in the field, run some uh, soil through it, should be good. I hope it shines up and it doesn't just stick to it, it does we know it's way way too wet, but we've got to give it a try. Right we'll head down here, I think we'll give the um, windows a blast off before I put the drill on because I don't want to get the drill wet at all and um, and then yeah get it on put some weight in it and we'll see what to uh, see what maybe we can do or whether we leave it I don't know I'll ring Andy up see how he's getting on and now the windows have been blasted I'll get back to this drill question quiz question yesterday um, it was behind a massive thing wasn't it and I was trying to cut to cut out what it was so a few people said like a paddock picker Oh no, it was a tulip picker. So there were um, there were all little tulips in there um, for the display, but I managed to get them out of the uh, thing. And one or two people did get it right, so well done if you did. We were just having some issues with the stabilizers on the back. They were holding solid even when it's gone to off. Oh, watch yourself, Ben. Um, it's in the off position, but it's holding solid. So we're just hoping that when we get a drill on, it'll uh, it'll free it up. like in a boost a little bash some grease around it and then it's all ready for tomorrow it's just looking a bit it's gonna get dark soon so um yeah we'll get get it all ready and prepared and then all i've got to do tomorrow is drop the seed in drop the glue so we're just doing some feeding now or oh, ben is i'm gonna be filling up the mixer with a nine meter on is on uh he's gonna back that out with the mixer so i can get it filled so I'm just putting a few bales out ready for the morning. Ben's just on feeding out there. So I think past him to get some more bales. Uh, okay, this rain is not making it look like we're going to be drilling tomorrow, is it? Ah. Oh well, we'll see. Maybe it's just a shower. And he's not going to be happy about his uh, straw blowing tractor. I think the windows might be a little bit mucky. Um, that is Ben on the TM there, I promise. And he's back, everyone. Oh, actually, can't see Andy, but he's there. He's there in front of us, I promise. Um, what's, the, what's the matter? I think they might need blowing off, Jack. The windows? Yeah. Nah, I didn't even. Honestly, didn't they were fine. You didn't even notice. Absolutely. Every, look, watch the video, mate. They're fine. Oh, we have got a bit of light up this end at least. Mentions today is a happy birthday to Trudy Larkworthy, and that is from your grandsons Alfie and Rory. Um, so massive happy birthday to you, Trudy, today. Um, sorry, I didn't write it on the mixer, but it's probably going to be too dark, so I've put it in text up here. Hopefully, I have anyway in the edit. Right, we're all gathered about, done for the evening. 
Um, everything ticked off. Everything's in the shed. I feel a bit better tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you've liked it, remember to press the like button. Subscribe if you've not already. And we will see you tomorrow where, fingers crossed, it dries up and we get drilling. What do you reckon chances of that is, Andy? <laughs> what do you reckon the chances of us drilling is out of a hundred? You've ditched out field to try and drain it, haven't you? It's wet over there. You know, halfway up the wheels. Oh, was it? It's yeah. like, like when you went down the track the last oh, week. Yeah. <laughs> right, see you later, guys. Right. We came back out because um, we got a cow that needed injecting. So we've done that. I think it'll be all right. We're just airing on the side of caution. Um, yeah, I think I might put in the bonfire stuff now. And then people can watch it if they want to watch it. If you don't, just watch somebody else's video. Go watch Ollie's or some, or Charlotte's or Tom's or whatever. But um, yeah, here's the bonfire night stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Welcome to the, um, our little bonfire. Let's rise. And fireworks to the Ivanhoe Hotel in Scotland for tonight's bonfire. What a fire, eh? Wow. What do you think, mate? Is it a big fire? <laughs> Isaac wants a sparkler. That's what he says, yeah. He's not happy. Oh. Are you happy, Isaac? <coughs> no, Isaac's not very happy, is he? Yeah. You happy? You want more fireworks? quite spectacular at the end but I was getting some vampire toffee so um, yeah <laughs> I didn't get it to film that bit she has done well she got her little ear, ear defenders on I'm her on. I'm getting held on you got a lolly didn't you mate do you want the plastic off do you want to eat it yeah be a good idea wouldn't it have a look at yes mate it's a good lolly that <laughs> that was a good lolly. It is absolute bedlam trying to get away from this place. So, you can safe to say though, to great certainty, that one my phone's wet. <clears throat> That's why it looks like some kind of space age 
stuff's happening with the, the lights on the cars. And um, my my coat is definitely um, waterproof. Can you speak like um, the That's worth it. I'm going to get my car wet. It'll dry out. Really? Yeah, because I've got a nice picture. Bonfire top is nice as well. That's why I need a leather-seated car. Is that what you reckon? Just talking about what I want again, you know. And possibly a phone. What? A phone? What car? Do you want a car from? I'll buy her a car no, from. Like, Instead of a car, I'll have one. I can put my boot in the car. Okay.